welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing an updated makeup routine i couldn't think of the words there my brain is so scrambled at the moment with everything that's going on so yeah i'm just gonna do a very quick updated everyday makeup routine i haven't actually done my makeup since like last friday i'm filming this on wednesday yeah because it's day two that we're not allowed. i haven't actually done my makeup for nearly two weeks now so i'm very excited to just put on a nice full face of makeup for you guys and um, so if you want to see that then just keep watching i'm gonna start off by just putting on a little headband just to keep my makeup out of my face i've also changed my setup so now you guys are here and my mirror's here because i've got a bigger mirror now to moisturize i just use the drops of light body shop moisturizer this is really good it has slightly dull skin it really really brightens up your face so i'm just going to pop that on and on a day-to-day -day basis i don't actually use a primer because my skin tends to cling on to foundation a lot better than what a lot of people do so i don't feel like i need to prime my face on a regular day I just use this and a long wearing foundation. For foundation, I am using the Revlon Colour Stay Foundation. This is the normal dry skin one in the colour 150 Buff. It's actually split when I was over at my friend Charlotte's house. He was in my first ever video, if you remember that, if he's been here for that long. Um, and yeah, decided to explode when I was there getting ready to go out. So. That's not great, but it's fine. I put about a pump and a half on my face. If I'm going like out out, mix it with the Natasha Denona Transfer Matte Foundation because this is so full coverage and it just lasts really, really well. Um, and this is in the colour 10R Fair. It's a bit too dark for me, that's why I mix it with this and it gives it a really nice colour and a really nice finish as well. As you can see that gives a very nice natural finish you can still see my freckle through it i quite like that i don't like something that's too full coverage for just an everyday basis i don't feel like it's necessary for my concealer i've actually discovered something new this is the Too faced born this way concealer i use the color cloud and this is incredible this is the best concealer i've ever used it smells amazing and i just use this where I normally do. Where I put my concealer has not changed in the slightest. I also don't cover any spots because I feel like if you can see blemishes, it makes it look more natural. Next, I like to set under my eyes and I use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Powder in Fair with my sponge just take some and just push it underneath my eye i don't bake with it i literally just push it under and it's just to set my under eyes before i do my next step next on to eyebrows and i've only used this eyebrow product once i wasn't a big fan of it but i'm gonna try it again today I, this is the Body Shop Brow Sport Brow Liner in dark brown, I believe I got it in. Yes, in dark brown. It's like a pen. Don't know if you can see that. It's a pen that you just draw on your eyebrows with. That's well a lot better than the last time I used it. As you can see, you can draw in really fine little hairs and make them look very natural. I think I just went in with too much of a heavy hand last time, so this product you need to use a very very light hand with it. I am just going to take my concealer on the back of my hand and the Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush and I'm just going to conceal around my brows. Give more concealer than I thought I was going in. Also I'm sorry you can't actually see this because I hold the mirror like here. You can't see anything. I've 
powdered my entire face, I will go back and put some brow gel through. Then, I have recently started cream contouring and I use the Huda Beauty Tanto in light. I should probably have got fair rather than light. I use this every single day when I do my makeup. It does not look like I've touched it. And what I do is I take an old beauty blender, just dab into it, just a tiny drop of it, and I just start tapping that into my face. And then just start to put little dots around there and leave it. I'm joking. I feel like tricks and tell when I do this. I don't know why. Pack it down like what I do with the rest of my face and then just blend it. I feel like I can get a very defined nose with this. To powder the rest of my face, I am using the NARS translucent setting powder in crystal. It's just a white setting powder. And I just use a big fluffy brush to just Set the rest of my face. Next, I am going in with my 3D Brow Tone from Benefit. This is in the shade 2, just to set my brows. Now, this is really interesting because it's got little shimmers. You can't see that. It's got little shimmers in it to make it look more, it gives it more dimension, but it does not make your brow shimmery. For an everyday basis, I do not do any eyeshadow, so I'm not actually going to do any eyeshadow just to keep it sort of true. If I wanted to, I would use the Beauty Bay, me, myself, and my little Mitchell palette. And I'd go for these sort of dusky browns. But this palette has got everything that you could ever need. So I'm going to bronze it my face, and I use the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow um, palette in fair medium. Looks like this. It is well loved both of them. As you can see I'm just going to use the bronzer shade here, angled brush just to contour my face. I use it to contour and bronze so I take it more, I take it more on other apples of my cheeks as well as well as pulling it right back into the contours of my cheeks. A lot of people say I wear too much, but I like it. Okay. Then for my nose contour, I just use you know, the little brushes that you get in the Benefit Hula bronzer packaging. And I just take a little bit, go down the edges of my nose. I feel like this is a really nice way to blend it as well. For blush, I use NARS Orgasm Blush, which looks like this. And I just use it on the same brush. I use quite a lot. I just smile. And I also like now put a little bit on the end of my nose. Then what I do is I just take the Too Faced Hangover Setting Spray and I just set my face before I put on my highlighter so it's got something to stick to. For highlighter I have recently discovered a new favourite. This is the Ofra Star Island highlighter. Like look how gorgeous this is. This is better than glazed donut in my opinion just because it's a bit more goldy than what glazed donut is. but it still gives that really intense glow. And I'm just using a Morphe R36 brush, just a domed brush to do this. And then just for the inner corners, down my nose, and I'm gonna keep it spot, I'm gonna use this Real Techniques shading brush. And I pop it just on the edge of my nose. I've changed how I do my nose highlight now. Right on the tip. And then, right up here, I don't go down the entire bridge anymore, I just do it right there. I feel like it just makes my nose look a little bit smaller. For mascara, I use the 
Body Shop Happy Go Lash Mascara in black. I just feel like this is a really, really nice natural mascara. Doesn't make your lashes look too clumpy, but gives them plenty of volume. Finally for the lips, I'm going to use my absolute favourite lip gloss. This is the iconic London Plumping Lip Gloss in Nearly Nude. I'm just going to coat my lips in this. And there we go guys, that is my updated everyday makeup routine. I know it was a little bit of a boring video but I didn't know what to film and it has been so long since I saw you guys. So if you have any suggestions leave them down below. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, like this video if you did enjoy it and I'll see you in my next video but guys bye!